In this video, we explain underflow and overflow and describe the circumstances in which they occur. When storing numbers, we must consider the limitations of the storage format. Overflow or underflow can occur when we attempt to store a number that is either too big or too small for the format being used. Underflow occurs if a number is too small to be represented in the format provided. Using the representation shown here, the smallest number we can store is 0 0.0001, or 1 16th, or as a decimal, 0 0.0625. Let's say we performed a calculation that resulted in the answer 0 0.0075. Well, it can't be stored in this representation. Due to underflow, the answer would simply be reported and stored as zero. Overflow occurs if the result of a calculation is too large to be held in the format provided. In this example, we see the numbers 118 and 33, and they can both be stored in binary accurately in this format. However, if we attempt to add them together, the resulting decimal number is 151 and that's too large to store in this format. If we try to do it anyway, when we add up the columns with the ones in, we get an inaccurate result. We actually end up with the number minus 105. An overflow has occurred, the number here is meaningless. However, of course, we could store the answer accurately if we'd used a ninth bit. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. What is overflow and underflow, and when can these situations occur? 